know me, get to know me. Thank y'all for coming to get to know me. What's important to me as an artist is the music. I think most important for me is just to to make sure the music is solid, to make sure that I'm expressing myself the way that I want to, and that people are feeling the music, like that they feel where I'm coming from with every lyric I write, and the tracks that I pick, the, the vocals, the way I express myself vocally, that, that's the most important. I started out working with uh, Lauren Hill uh, and John Legend in the studio on records for them, and then I went on to tour with Life Jennings, uh, Alicia Keys, Lincoln Park, um, Diddy, Jay Z. Cool. So basically, now we're gonna walk over to the stage area. This is where we're gonna be performing. It's gonna be like at least 45,000 people out there screaming. So um, this is it. Normal reaction, people. It's funny because when most times when people hear me sing, they just uh, they're shocked because they don't look at me and think that I should be a singer or that I would be a singer. Uh, most of the time, they think I'm a rapper. So, like, I always get, you know, um, you know, this isn't for rapping, you know, we don't take rappers, this is for singing. I'll be like, well, I'm a singer, you know. And then once they hear me, they're like, oh, like, you know, you're a real singer. I remember um, specifically one show I did um, in the city, and this was after I had toured with him for a while. Um, Diddy was there, he was like, oh, I didn't know you sung like that. It's time now for someone to step up and create a movement and create a change for for live music for bringing bringing heart back to music. The uh, scariest day of my life. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Got asked to perform at Quincy Jones' house, and you know, of course, I accepted the opportunity. So um, it, the whole thing was insane. The whole process, the whole situation was just crazy. To be in this man's house, to um, like to perform for a legend, somebody who has 60 years worth of hits, and then to speak to him and have him um, reaffirm my beliefs and, and what, I, what I'm what i trying to do and my vision for music, and you know, that was incredible. I think the thing that stands out the most that he said to me uh, was when he said, you know, keep doing what you're doing, you're good, you know, don't follow all the trends and stuff, do what you're doing, you're doing the real music that will last when all of the trends fade. The process of putting this album together has really been exciting because I think it's the first time that I've had the freedom to just do whatever I want, you know, just say whatever I want, do whatever I want, sing whatever I want, um, with no walls, and, and that's, that's been really incredible. I, mean, I didn't realize how restricted I felt before until I started putting this, this record together because once I started, it was like I was just exploding and like I couldn't stop. I think I'm confident because I've done my homework. Like I've really studied my craft. Funny thing about when I came in the game is that from the door, the first artists I worked with were selling out of and they were doing it on the biggest level. So seeing that and being under that, that tutelage, you know, and picking up from those people, you have no choice but to 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 you know let some of that rub off on you. So I mean I just know what it takes. My favorite singer would have to be Sarah Vaughan. Like myself, she interprets the song in the moment. So depending on the day, depending on how she feels, depending on what's going on in her life at that time, she you know, performs a song a certain way. Like I have 10 or 12 recordings of sometimes the same song, and it's never the same way. And it's the exact same song. much I cared for you now it's clear to me you don't feel the same it feels like all my hopes and all my dreams 
single time I perform it's a, a new experience you know the show's never going to be the same twice and it's always going to be uh, an intimate experience so like I think for me as much as I feel like I shine on record I feel like I shine twice as much live in the performance setting because that's where I come from I come from live show I come from performing I come from you know touring and I come from the church so I come from performing live so if you don't see me live you just doing yourself a disservice. Starting the movement, man, you know, trying to do some things, you know, so y'all part of that right now, just because the movement is just real music, man. Bring it back real vocals, you know, live bands, real songs. Inside, all I can say is love. love. 